and today we are going to start a new lecture series on C language okay and this is your lecture 0 introduction to C okay now in this lecture we are going to discuss that what topic is to be covered by us in the entire course okay so the first in the first lecture uh, this is having two parts okay I am going to tell you how to print any statement and variables and basic theory of C language okay in simple word I am going to uh, <coughs> teach you the use of printf and scanf function okay in the second lecture we are going to study about the concept of loop for loop while loop to while loop okay this lecture is also having two parts the first part is for while and do while loop and the second part is for for loop okay after that in third lecture we study about the conditional statements like if if else if else if else and switch statement okay now in the fourth lecture we are going to study go to continue break in one part and pointer in second part and function in third part okay in the fifth lecture we are going to uh, learn logic building and solve some miscellaneous problem on C language okay in sixth lecture we are going to study the advanced C in which we are going to study about the graphicals graphics of C sorry not graphical graphics of C okay and we are going to uh, learn also how to beep alarm okay at a point of code also we are uh, I am going to teach you that how you make your own header file in the advanced C okay after that if you are a uh, if you are not from the coding background most of you have not taken computer science as a subject in intermediate examination okay so the first question when you came in the BTEC first year is where to code this C language okay where I am going to code this C language okay so I suggest you I have provided you the different compilers name okay which is widely used okay so the first compiler where which is best to learn the syntax of C language is turbo C compiler okay this is the best compiler and I suggest you to start initially in this compiler okay because uh, it is not going to help you anywhere like in IDs okay now the second compiler is code blocks and third is visual basic studio studio sorry this is the best compiler in this compiler you can run Python Java C C++ any programming language okay even visual basic studio to also okay now here if you are a window user then you I suggest you to use the dev C compiler okay uh, for Mac user X code is provided from the Mac side but if you uh, want to install dev C in Mac okay don't waste your time because dev C is not available for Mac currently okay and if you don't want to install any of the softwares okay or any of the compiler in your uh, computer then you can use like me online GDB compiler okay in this compiler also you can uh, run various programming languages like Python C C++ or Java any programming language okay even if Ruby also okay so this is best to use but it is online compiler okay I suggest you that if you are a window user then uh, try to install the Dev C compiler okay if you get any problem okay mention it in the comment section okay where in the description I provide you my whatsapp number you can also whatsapp me your query okay now see here the let's start but before moving further let's discuss some theory theoretical part okay header file okay because the first statement that you are going to write in your program is header file okay so there are two header files in C programming language the first one is has include studio.h and the second one is has include conio.h now question arises what is header file basically header file is a container okay in which some function are present okay like this okay 
and these functions are used to communicate with the compiler okay so the first header file is studio.h okay okay studio header file what is its full form standard input output okay means inside this header file there are two function the first function is printf which is used to print the statements okay or which is used to print the output screen okay then the second one is scan a function okay scan a function actually it is scan function that why it is written scan of okay it is used to take the input from the user side okay so these two functions printf and scanf which we are using in each and every line is present inside which uh, header file that is studio.h okay and we are including these header file that's why i am writing here has include studio.h okay means compiler under stat that yes i have to include this file and from this file i am going to use this two function okay wherever sorry wherever it is required okay sorry i don't know what is the problem here okay so what is used here okay now the second one is has include conio.h now what is the full form of conio that is console input output okay so from this header file you are going to print, uh, get this two function get ch and clear screen okay the get ch is used to hold the output screen and the clear screen is used to clear the previously compiled output okay now see here what is meaning of this console okay console means the area or the window in which your output is going to be displayed is known as console okay so if uh, in dev c in other compilers you can exclude this file you can ignore this file okay this header file conio.h okay if you ignore it and write this header file only then also your program is uh, properly functioning but not in turbo c compiler okay in turbo c compiler you have to include this header file and you have to use this two function the first one is to clear the previous output and the second one is to get the output screen actually if you are not using the get ch function okay then the output screen comes so faster that it is not visible to you even okay so in order to hold that screen for few second you are going to use the get ch function okay now i will show you a formal way of writing the c uh, language okay c programming okay so how you are going to get the gdb compiler this is actually the gdb compiler ide i will show you how you are going to get it okay so open your browser here move to the google okay now write here gdb sorry gdb compiler okay see here gdb compiler click on the first link and you are navigated to the gdb compiler okay so see here by default it is showing you c programming language here here you select your language c c++ these are the languages which in which you can code in this ide okay so i am going to code in c programming language so i selected here c and by default hello world program is printed on your console okay but i am going to teach you the formal way how to print uh, how to execute your program or how to compile your program in the turbo c compiler i considering that this is a turbo c compiler okay now see here the very first you learn these two header file and you have to write these two header file in each and every okay in each and every program okay like uh, i am writing here has include studio.h studio.h okay and has include conio dot h okay now 
this two header files if you are using a c compiler i can uh, i am considering that i am using turbo c compiler okay so that's why i am writing the whole code in a formal way okay so these two header file you have to write in each and every program okay now after that you have to open the main function okay int main okay now see here what is the use of this main function inside this main function you are going to write your code okay your whole programming is written in this main function okay i suggest you to always keep the return type integer always write int main okay when we will discuss about the data types in detail then i told you that what is the meaning of wide int here okay but now you learn it that you have to write int main okay int main after that you are opening your curly braces and now inside this curly braces you are going to write your program okay so now uh, let us suppose i want to print my name okay subham okay so what i am going to do here actually i am going to write here print f okay this function helps you to print any statement on the console okay so print f and inverted comma okay inside a small bracket this is the syntax of printf now inside this inverted comma whatever you write okay in the same way it is going to be printed in the output so i am going to write here subham okay and after this you have to put end of line that is semicolon okay now if you are going to run but before this i told you that i am in a turbo c compiler so i have to write clear scr okay and uh, which header file allow me to use this function has include conio.h which uh, header file allows me to use this function has include studio.h okay now you in turbo c compiler you are not able to see your screen okay output screen so you have to use one more function that is get ch okay and after that semicolon okay after every statement you have to put the semicolon okay means that you are telling the compiler that this is the end of statement one more common fault that the student did is this small bracket brackets okay you have to put this small bracket because they are function okay i will uh, discuss in detail when i teach you function okay and in main here also you have to put this small brackets okay now if you are going to run your code in gdb compiler it is going to show you error okay what is the error uh, it is actually in function main one exist id okay so actually uh, we uh, don't have any we don't have compiled any code previously that's why it is showing error to us okay so no problem remove this clear screen and now run your code so it is printed get ch function okay get ch this due to this get ch in turbo c suppose you consider that you are in turbo c okay so here it is going to be printed shubham okay but if you are using dev c okay no need to write this also and no need to write this also okay only you write has include studio.h integer main print a function and write your statement and now if you run the code your code is going to print your output that is shubham okay now remember exactly what you write here exactly it is going to be printed here if you provide two white spaces here then two white spaces is also going to be printed here also if i run here then you can see the output screen there is a gap of two white spaces okay so hope you understand this lecture grabbed the concepts okay so please like and subscribe my channel for more good videos okay so thank you have a nice so please like and subscribe my channel thank you have a nice day